everyone! Welcome to Catalan YouTube channel! In this video, I'll show you the differences between Catalan Recorder and Selenium Recorder. Now, just simply click on the record buttons to start recording a test case. In this example, I'll enter Airbnb.com, then perform all other testing steps, while Catalan Recorder immediately capture my action as scripted steps. When the site is fully loaded, I'll add a verification step. Right-click on the text that you want to verify, click on Catalan Recorder, then click on Verify Text on the Contacts menu. And that simple action completes a test case. Congratulations! You've just created an automated test in Catalan Recorder. Here, I'll play back the test without stopping the record. And it works! While on the left hand side, the current active browser tab shows you the web under test in real time. Very convenient, right? And it's done! Your first automated test has been executed successfully. So, in conclusion, with Catalog Recorder, you can start recording a test immediately in playback without friction. So what about Selenium IDE? Okay, let's input a project name. Save it. Next is a base URL. I'll use the same URL, that is airbnb.com, and then start recording. Here we go! Let's search for a place in Atlanta. Right-click on Selenium IDE, Verify, then text on the context menu to verify a text that's presented on the screen. Done! So now, let's stop it. Now you need to define a name for the scripted test. For this one, I'll name it TC1. Now, I'll play my newly created test case. In Selenium IDE, a new browser window is going to open to run the test. Back to Catalan Recorder, you can see it runs the test on current active tab. In conclusion, Selenium IDE does have some excessive step when it comes to recording tests, while Catalan Recorder has the same functionality as IDE, but with more user freedom and immediate starts. Now let's move on to how KR and Selenium IDE support manual testing. I will illustrate closely why executing tests on the same browser bring great benefit for you as a manual tester. Here, on Catalan Recorder, I'll manually execute the first test step by inputting Atlanta into the search box. Then, I'll run the test from the second step by right-clicking on this step, and then choose Play from here. As you can see, Catalan Recorder runs the chosen step smoothly. You can see in the logs, it executes from the Click Action step, which are the two final steps, click on the search buttons, and then verify. So what about Selenium IDE? For a comparison, let's bring back Selenium IDE. I will do the same thing, inputting Atlanta into the search box. Then have Selenium IDE play from the step, click on the search button. As you can see, it opens a new window, and then the test will be stuck here until timeout. This is because Selenium IDE opens a new browser window. It leads to a different browser that doesn't have the same test precondition. Therefore, your test will fail after timeout. Now, on that same new browser, let's play the full test again. And it works! Now you can see that Catalan Recorder can support manual testing by playing from any step when the tester has done the precondition, while Selenium IDE unfortunately cannot. On Catalan Recorder and Selenium IDE, you can only see the last test result. What if you want to check the historical information of this test case? While both Selenium IDE and Catalan Recorder don't support this feature, Catalan Recorder, however, has the ability to integrate with Catalan TestOp, an AI test orchestration and analytic platform. So let me show you how Catalan Recorder can do that. Simply click on the report buttons on the top menu to upload the test result into TestOp. To connect with TestOp, you need to have a Catalan account. If you don't have one, go to our website and create one for free to access this feature. In this case, I just need to log in with my credential. With TestOp, you can create many organization, and in each organization, you can create many projects to manage. Here are the test results that I ran before. Now, back to Catalan Recorder to upload the test result to TestOp to see the insight. Close the pop-up, 
and then click on the report buttons again. Select the project. Here I have only one project that I want to upload the report into, which is the first project. Finally, click on upload. Close the message, then go to test op to check out your result. And that's the end of our video. If you want to hear more from us, don't forget to give us a subscribe, like, and comment the kind of content you want to see. See you at our next video.